Hi everyone, let's talk about a puzzle called 10 Prisoners with Hats. In this puzzle there are 10 prisoners. A hat is put on each prisoner and every prisoner is told that a single digit number, which is unknown to the prisoner, is written on the hat. So the number can be any of the numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way through to 9 because those are the 10 one digit numbers and the prisoners do not have to have all different numbers so there can be repeats among the numbers on their hats in fact they could even all be exactly the same number then all the prisoners are shown to each other so that each prisoner can see all of the other prisoners numbers uh, but you cannot see your own number and at that point no one is allowed to speak to each other or communicate in any other way Finally, each prisoner is individually taken to a different room and asked to guess the digit on her own hat. If at least one prisoner guesses the correct digit on her own hat, then all of the prisoners will be set free. Otherwise, all of the prisoners will be executed. If the prisoners are allowed to decide on a plan before any hats are put on anyone and before anybody is shown to anyone after the hats are put on them, then how can the prisoners guarantee their freedom? So I'll wait for five seconds. You can think about it if you want and pause the video and then I'll cover the solution. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's take a look at how this is even possible. Amazingly, it is possible to guarantee their freedom. What their strategy will be is to get together and number themselves independent of the hat numbers from 0 through 9. Now, when each prisoner is assigned a hat, let S be the sum of the numbers on all the hats. So, to be clear, nobody actually knows, none of the prisoners individually know the sum of the numbers on all the hats. So this number S is a theoretical number. And let the remainder of S when divided by N, so when divided by 10, be, be uh, it's just S congruent to whatever it is modulo 10. But the point is that S is going to be congruent to exactly one of the prisoners self-assigned number N. So there's going to be exactly one prisoner which is going to be congruent to S modulo 10. So N is going to equal the remainder of S when S is divided by 10. Now we'll see why this is important. That particular prisoner, prisoner n, who, whose self-assigned number is n, does not know the sum, like I said, but that prisoner knows s minus a n, where a n is the number on her hat, because she can find the sum of all the other prisoners' numbers, because they can see each other. And she also knows her self-assigned number n. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to work backwards from the fact that n is congruent to s modulo 10. You're going to need to know uh, basic modular arithmetic for this. So we subtract s from both sides and we get n minus s is 0 modulo 10. And then we add a n to both sides and we get n minus s plus a n is congruent to a n modulo 10. And this means that if you take n and you subtract from it s minus a n in brackets, it'll be congruent to the number on prisoner n's hat, which is an. So if we make up a general rule that each prisoner takes their self-assigned number k and subtracts the sum of all of the other prisoner, prisoner's numbers, which is s minus ak, then, then finds the remainder of it modulo 10. And this might actually be a negative number and you have to find the remainder of it modulo 10. So you have to know how Euclidean division works. So these have to be some pretty smart prisoners. Um, then exactly one of the prisoners will guess the number on her own hat, which is an. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.